sister. A hero. A garden of the galaxy. Guardians of the galaxy. Why would we be the gardens of the galaxy? <laughs> so stupid. Hi guys and welcome to another movie lingo discussion. I'm Iris. I'm JS Wanna Supplier. I'm Ron. And I'm Kumar. And today we're gonna be discussing Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And just to let you guys know, this is going to have spoilers in it. So if you have not seen the movie, turn us off, go watch the spoiler free review, then come back after you've seen the movie. Okay? Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. So, just to give you guys a little synopsis on the movie, uh, basically we find our Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, they've been hired by a people called Sovereign, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they're there to protect some batteries, some intergalactic awesome batteries that they have from an alien trying to steal them. But, after they destroy the alien, Rocket decides to steal the batteries for himself. Um, so basically the Sovereign decide to go after them, which leads the Guardians of the Galaxy to bump into Quill's father. So you kind of find out the details on his parentage, where he comes from, mm -hmm. his heritage basically, and how shitty of a daddy he has. <laughs> Cancer episode so, well, yeah, basically. Now, to get started, mm. uh, I want to start with feelings, you guys. Jay, how did you feel about the movie? Um, I loved it. I thought it was really great. Um, I thought it was a great roller coaster ride. Uh, I didn't see any of it coming. So, um, it was definitely something that made me excited. Uh, I, I loved all of the celebrity spotlights they had in there. Mm -hmm. Sylvester Stallone, I was kind of like, mm, why in the beginning? But it kind of made sense towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, the action was dope. The, the character development was great. Mm -hmm. Like how they really brought out more of the individual personalities and how they work together. Um, I really thought that was awesome. Uh, you know, I, I love the pacing of it. It didn't, it didn't make me bored. You know, I, there was never a point where I got... Well, I was just like, okay, can we just run this along? It was all right, you know what I'm saying? Because normally it gets like that in certain movies. Okay. But like this one, it I'm not gonna say it kept me at the edge of my seat, but I always enjoyed what I was doing. And the jokes were so perfect. Like the timing was great, you know what I mean? Yeah. With everything. And it was corny, but it was cool. Family corny. Yeah. Boom. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And I loved it. And even all the way till the end, uh, when I thought there was gonna be some love making at some point, it didn't happen, but I was still kinda it was, it was so oh, close. And I really felt like Zoe Saldana was going to wipe off that green oh, and it was ah. going to get hot and steamy and it didn't happen. But maybe in the next one, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, you know, the porn or whatever. What, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, like, you know, I thought that was great. So, I'm gonna, hey, okay, thanks so much, Jay. Ron, how did you feel? Man, I mean, he had some great nuggets in there. Yeah. But um, it's similar to the movie where you had so many cameos and weird little nooks and crannies about whether it's the comic book things. I felt like certain things were thrown in. That had to do with actual, like, um, you know how the soundtrack, everything's nostalgic, music mm -hmm. back in the day, stuff like that. I felt they did the same thing with some of the characters. By having Sylvester Stallone in it, by having um, mm. Kurt Russell in it, it was a lot of the action people that you would have seen if you grew up in the 80s, 90s, that television era. You had um, David Hasselhoff. So I just felt like mm -hmm. those are its own little, if you ever seen the movie, we already said fucking spoiler. We already said that, okay? So at this point, you already know David's in this movie like twice, and he sings the one of the songs on the end credit. But whatever, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. Um, there was some issues we'll talk about with the storyline, but well, again, don't worry, we'll get to that. Now. It's the summer. I thought it did what it had to do. Okay, and Kumar, I very much enjoyed the movie. It just like Jay said, it was like a roller coaster ride. You sat down, and particular scenes where it's like, oh, they're jumping through. Not time, not portals, pretty much like portals yeah. to different universes. It's like, whoa. That was really fun. The movie really knew what it was. It knew that it was like a fun movie, but they still nailed the fact that there's a plot and there's like reason behind everything in the universe. So the movie was great to me. Yes, I do agree with all you guys. I myself enjoyed the entire movie. I thought the music, the music had to be like one of the best parts for me. 
um, it tied everything so well together. And I, I like how they had more classic music more than, you know, of the music that we listen to now. Um, especially because, you know, he does get abducted in the 80s. So, of course, that's the only music he has with him. So, um, it gives a, a different side, you know, than most individuals of our generation are used to watching, like, listening to in that type of movie. Um, to get more in-depth, guys, I want to do a comparison. What were your favorite parts compared to your most hated? Or did you even have a hated part? So you want to you do the, the parts we liked first? You want to go to the hated parts first? Well, let's, let's start with a positive note first. Okay. Um, Come on, start happy. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That's how a lot of times my dates go out. Uh, start happy and it ends dark. But look, so down, I would say it is what it is. But, you know, that's just life. But That's why it keeps the bullets. <sighs> Anywho, I would say moments I like, like, they know exactly what this was for demographic like when you sat down and you watched the opening part they never lose who they were like if you remember the first movie star lord is going through his mission much like when we clean the house and we've got music going in the background and we're just kind of in a groove that if no one's watching us we're dancing the same thing with Groot is baby Groot is actually going through that same thing where he's dancing and the credits are showing whose name is it's like they they know exactly what they are they're mm -hmm. different from anything else um, I wouldn't actually call them like a superhero movie. They're almost like Goonies or re like a renegade type of group. Um, but I enjoyed that because of that, they stayed in their lane. Like the, the one-liners, the jokes, um, they were completely dead on. The timing was perfect um, because they knew what market they were. Um, mm -hmm. There was a lot of times when I watched the movie, I would be sitting there with my wife and I'll look over and I know as soon as baby group does something, <laughs> she's going to react to it. And as soon as he does, I look, and she does exactly what the, the, the writer set up for. So I really enjoy the fact that they know what their, their market is. They know what they're about. Never lost that. Okay. Jay, why don't you let us um, I, I agree with him. I don't know how, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I do know how, but it's, they have their own formula. It's completely different from an Iron Man. It's mm -hmm. completely different from... You know, everybody else. And that's what makes the movie fun. You right, know what I mean? Exactly. They don't take themselves too seriously. Mm, nope. The downside was David Hasselhoff. <laughs> what? David fucking fuck you, David Hasselhoff. Listen, I don't know what Die! he's ever done to you. Die, David Hasselhoff. He has <laughs> great Dude, hair. Yes. Hey, you know what? We Stop. are going to lose all of our German viewers. I don't care. Don't care. Night Rider, Please a lot disregard. Of anybody, anybody else. It it's the hot. He is the shit. David Hassel, whatever. Like, you know, I don't know any of his whatever. music. I, I mean, could hear he sing, sings like an angel. I don't know. <laughs> all right, Kuma. At the end of the day. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 just one keep more. Going, keep going. Don't worry about it. Go for it. Go for it. Don't worry about it. Everything else was angelic. It was like God came down and made a family. And made a family. Our planet. Boom. Our planet. Now, yeah. go ahead. But you're supposed to be on positive notes. Anywho, positive notes. It's yeah, like yeah. every character, you know, there was someone in the theater that you somewhat relate. Or it was like, you know, like you guys said, it's supposed to catch a certain audience member's attention. Like baby Groot, kids, you know, women, not sure if he's sexist or anything, but it's, you know, women like cute things like baby Groot. He's caught my, my attention too. Just saying. Anywho. It's like, yeah, the film knows what it's doing. I mean, I don't know. Positive note. It's colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's trippy. Downside, the film knew what it was doing. Positive note. It's colorful. Okay, guys. To take it into more of an emotional round, what was really good for me is, even though he, Quill, Star-Lord, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call him, ends up finding his father, who ends up being Kurt Russell. Um, who is a celestial being who ends up being a total dick. Like, he's the reason <laughs> his mom go? got cancer. Mm -hmm. You killed my mom. Yes, motherfucker, you're a dick. But did you think yeah. that when you first started watching it, though? No. Did you think when, when, when you first nah, saw that was the, a big the flash flashback, flashback where they smoothed? I mean, you got to watch how they're like, we'll, we'll hopefully you know we'll what be able to do the, the circle and other movies like that. But <laughs> technology's getting crazy where you can take anybody and make them look young. But we liked him. I don't... Am I lying? We all like yeah. him. Yeah. For like... He was the, the... For like a few minutes. For like a few minutes. But... I don't know. Maybe it was just me. But... Sometimes when I watch movies, I could already tell like... Something... It's just too perfect to be... Yeah. 
Like, all of a sudden, yes, you're my dad, you pop out of nowhere, but we haven't been really introduced other than to the high priestess, a real antagonist. So if these are the only two people that are being thrown, you have to be a dick too. There's just You're just not that's showing it yet. Of... You're not showing it yet. That, that's just me. Every movie has two, apparently. Uh, you... So you didn't like the fact that they were playing with your emotions. That's how you felt. You no, no, like, no. Don't play with my I didn't. I haven't gotten to my point yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> my whole thing was that once his father dies, he realized this whole time I'm missing out on this person that he had the whole time mm-hmm. in Yandu. So, yeah, he didn't play catch with his dad, but he taught him how to survive how to fight, how to shoot. He fed him, he clothed him. He was there every day after his mother died. And from the get, he was already looking out for him. Some random Terran or Earth person, whatever you want to call, you know, our human species. He grabs him from a planet, already knew that his father, what he does is kill his offspring if they don't have the same connection to... To the planet or have his celestial essence within them he was already looking out for him when there was no need no need for him to even give a shit about this scrawny little kid other than the fact that he can fit in small places and still a lot of shit yeah. Yeah. yes besides exactly that, besides just, that it's just not even like pay but I, I'm glad that in the end even though Yandu sorry spoiler alert does die yeah he okay. does realize in the end that Definitely. I didn't miss out, really miss out on anything, mm-hmm. on having that dad. I had him. This man may have been my father, but you're my daddy. There's a that's a line from major the movie. major difference. Same dance with my father by Luther Vandross. Okay. So, my only dislike, I would have to say. But no, no, we went we went positive. Okay. What I'm saying yeah. is, of what you said, like that part, that you, did it? But that's make what it I like. I liked that emotion, okay. that feeling that he yeah. found okay. his dad. What okay. I disliked, what I have to say, um, was the fact that they threw in the the whole cancer that Kurt Russell, uh-huh. his his father, is the reason his mom died. That pissed me off. Okay, wait, 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 wait. But uh, it probably pissed y'all off for a complete reason. Because that's the point. It, the point. No, no, no. I know yeah. that. Without that, it wouldn't have been right, what it was. Right. Of course, that so they didn't. Me off. But it did. It. But it was, that's what I didn't like. Not that I didn't like it. That it needed to be out of the movie. Right. But I didn't like it because I just felt like, like, damn. See, like they chose cancer because we all hate cancer. So it was the easiest way to kind of. Get everybody on board I really did. quickly. You had to really hate him. Exactly. That's what we need. I was to do. like, you dirty Look at how one. handsome he is. Look at all that uh. hair. Look at the planet. He was so charming and everybody was in love with him. Yeah, like, so, he, what he, was he, the he, way that you could turn everybody on a And dime? the fucked up thing is, the Cancer. guy is Kurt Russell. Everybody loves yeah. Kurt Russell. Well, exactly. Until he gives your mama cancer. You gotta die yeah, after that. Yeah. Okay, you gotta die. Everybody, yeah. everybody in the theater was like, "Oh!" When when he dropped that bomb to say, "Hey, listen," and it really sucked for me to really kind of to give her the cancer. The yeah. It was First like, of all, whoa. him like, knowing like, everything he knows and being so super super old, you can't just tell a motherfucker that. Yeah. Like, you exactly. literally, you just you just found out, Amari, that you are the father. Right. You haven't even had a beer yet. You nope. haven't talked about life yet. Y'all talked nope. about some music for a few minutes, but yep. you think it's fine to go ahead and admit, "Hey, look, I might have killed your mom." The part no, not when I he might says have. that. He I gave your mom the he tumor. Did. He did. But that wasn't the problem. What I'm saying is it was just rough because when everyone in the theater made that reaction, my reaction was the same sound effect. But I was thinking in my head like, oh, come on. This is the easiest way out for the storyline? Yes. Like, I felt like when they said that, it was one of the things I didn't like about the storyline where yeah. a lot of the moves that happened. Matter of fact, this might be a Chris Pratt. What was that Oof. last Passenger's? Passengers. It was the same. I can go back and watch the review that we did on right. passengers. But I felt like a lot of the moves that the characters did mm-hmm. was needed to keep the story along. A lot of times you'll see it where you don't see the magic trick. It happens. No, I saw all the fucking magic. I just tricks. felt so, like it, that mention was just. It may have just been a little bit of an unnecessary evil. Him finding mm-hmm. out that all of his all the offspring were murdered, I think would have been like, wow, you're a bad guy. 
you killed all of my brothers and sisters. But we don't have any emotional connection to them. Yeah, so, it so that's why we yeah, are Yeah, right. but the fact of that no, he's we didn't care. Murdered, no, we murdering didn't care. a species. We, we gotta people. remember, Star Lord murders a bunch of people while they're running around saving the universe. Yeah, but they're so bad saving guys. Saving the universe, oh, exactly. Listen, listen, hey. The bad guys can die. I'm a happy American. I love my country. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta do some things that you're just not happy with. So he had to kill a few of his brothers and sisters. They were his exactly. own kids. Exactly. He made them. I don't know, I guess. Like, would he be believable without the cancer? Like, if he would have said, hey, listen, uh, I chopped your mom's legs off, you wouldn't have felt the same way, would you? Yeah, you chopped my mom's legs off. You're doing anything to my mom, you're fucking dying. So what you're saying is if, if it's anything he had did to, to bring on the death of the mom, that would make him a villain. Yeah, but the fact of, not even just the murdering of the, of the offspring, you're trying to wipe out... Every single planet. I don't think anyone cared about that. Honestly, the biggest reaction yeah. you heard in the yeah, theater. Yeah, because even in the when Avengers, when there's somebody coming that's trying to wipe the entire planet okay, or wipe the entire state. To stop it. Exactly. Yeah, that would have been no different from the situation. I, I, I agree, but you're talking just, about a character that spent his whole life without feeling like he didn't have a father thing. Being immersed in a moment where not only does he find his father, but he realizes he's he's extraordinary. Yeah. So he's kind of caught in that glow of the moment. So you needed something as extreme yeah. as No, a- but that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that we didn't need it. I'm just saying it was just so... So crazy. Again, but he, he was asking his question was, okay. was listen, do we die without the cancer? They, and I'm saying no. When Chopping they were showing, was not extreme enough. When he was showing all the stuff he did and you were sitting there connecting the dots, like, man, that's messed up. But he still, he made the he made a whole planet. Oh, he did this? Oh, that's messed up. But he got magical hands. He did this? Well, he has great conditioner for his hair. There wow. was all this bad great stuff they were saying. Yeah, he was great conditioner Listen, for his all hair. that bad stuff they were saying, yeah, it, it was wouldn't just... matter. Because as soon as they said, hey, even when he said it, he didn't say it like a douche. A lot of other stuff was, again, ego. He said it really... Like almost like behind the scenes, he's like, "Yeah, man, when I had the da da da," and you heard that, and you reacted the same way as Star Lord. You're like, "Wait, wait, wait, what the f- did you do?" So I'm just okay. Come on, listen. Okay, you got to You got listen. Come on, like, like, go quiet. You got you. That's yeah. had to resonate uh, with you. When he pulls something. out the blasters like it's like Star Fox, and he starts just giving it to him. It was just weird. Like it's like from okay, yeah, I pretty much killed your mom, and then it's just like oh. You are a god, by the way. If you didn't know, you're a god. Me and you are gods. But I need your help. That's why you're here on my planet. It's like, no, I don't need you here because you're my son or I love you or anything. I need you here because you're my offspring. You have my powers. And I need you to run my planet as well. Yeah, to help me destroy help the entire the universe. Whole, yeah, help expand on his destruction of like in many worlds and universes and everything. Let's be clear about that. He wasn't beefing about... Killing everything no. in existence. I didn't hear him yeah. say that. Nope. He just wanted to spread his love all over the place. That's what yeah. I heard. Yeah, love no. that swallows up entire universes. Yeah, exactly. Once again, it didn't matter if it was cancer. I think cancer is more relatable to everybody. Again, this movie knew exactly what lane to be in. I just think at the end of it, he was a villain. You needed the cancer thing. As soon as he said it, he was a villain. It took it to a whole nother level. You All paid right. no attention to anybody else. All right, let, let's move on from this, you guys, because we're just going to keep on going about cancer. Because cancer is a bitch, man. Yeah. Okay, my next question for you guys. How did you feel about Yondu's death? Mm. I felt two ways, right? Mm-hmm. The first way, great job for the director to take a character who, I'm not trying to be rude about it, was not very significant in the first movie. Mm-hmm. He was funny. I mean, I want to see more of him. One of the original people in the comic books. But on this movie, his, his story arc, they put him in a... Where, where When he... Obviously, spoiler alert. When he dies, you felt it. Like, mm-hmm. even when they sat there and they did the, the, you know, the flares and everybody else getting together, it got you. It did something to you. You were sitting there like, you know, pumping your chest. So it just... Yeah. I felt it was a really good job that they did to make him feel like the father figure. Um, there was little small Easter eggs in there, like, you know, where they put the, um, the things by his, uh, I want to say coffin or, you know, when they're doing the funeral, yeah. they uh-huh. had the, uh, troll. And if you remember the troll from the first movie, it was what he switched out the stone with so he can leave. And if it was something that pissed him off so much, he wouldn't have kept the troll. He yeah. kept the troll. And the way I took it is he kept the troll because he raised his son the right way to do the right thing. So he was only impressed and loving like a father to be like, I know my son hustled me and switched this. 
but this is one of those moments where I did a good job being a parent. And that's mm-hmm. why he kept that around. Oh, so yeah. to me, I thought they did a great job. I mean, it sucks to see this dude go. Um, because like I said before, they had gave him such a story arc that I liked. I loved the guy. So okay. um, No, yeah, yeah, Yandu's death was portrayed very well in the way that, as Ron said, the movie just has the way of building him up so that it's like, it's subtly though. It's very subtle how they build him up to be the father, fi- father figure. But it's like, it, they keep it in the background. Like, you don't think about it until he, Peter's actual father is like dead. And then it's like, oh, well now my actual dad is dead. His daddy's dead, you know? It was just weird. Not weird. It was amazing how it just like kind of snuck up in the background. But yeah, that death, it was like to meant to touch the audience. Jay? I think they did a great job overall. Um, I almost cried. So if you can almost get me to cry. I'm in there like swimwear. Swimwear. Yeah, like swimwear. Yeah. That free Dope. one that everybody tried to get. And the point yeah. that you made, like, blew me away. Like, I, I never connected the two together. So, like, thank you for that. So now, I'm now I have to go back and watch it again. I'm telling you, man. Because mm-hmm. I got now I got to watch volume one and volume two back to back, so I can kind of <laughs> piece yeah. it all together. So, like, thank I'm you for that up. Easter egg thing. I, didn't, I never um, thought about that. I have to agree with you guys. When he died, I was so hurt. I was. I almost cried too. I was hurt. And what I have to say is I really appreciated before his death is the conversation that he has with Rocket, who's played, who's voiced by Bradley Cooper. Um, that he sees himself in Rocket. That Rocket's always acting like an asshole because he's too afraid to let people in. And he's like, I know this is how you feel. I know you're scared because you're me. But you need to stop before it's too late. Before you fuck up everything and everyone that you have in your life just disappears. And he made that connection as well with the fact um, that right before he dies, where Rocket hands him the that little clear spacesuit and the jetpack that he has to put on. And he tells him, you know, basically briefly you know to look out for Groot you know that you know even though Groot was his best friend at first who was a I don't want to say a grown ass man but I guess a grown ass yeah. elemental yeah <laughs> um you know that well now that's that's your kid that's who you got to look out for and not just and not really just Rocket but all of you mm-hmm. that's your kid you need to protect him shape him to grow into a, a, a good person like I try to do with Quill. Even though half of the time I act like an asshole and didn't want to show it, don't be like me. Because now that goodness that was in him that he would have really loved to show Quill even more, it was too late. Yeah, but th- this movie was like Saturday morning, like Sunday after school, ABC... <laughs> tear jerkers at time because oh, no because think about hall, it you're talking it about was a, a hall you're talking listen there was a lot of hard moments the no no what <laughs> I'm saying is this is some high level heart strength pulling did you, right now but what I'm saying is did other movies you have Batman vs Superman you can go over and jump across the galaxy I'm saying DC. They listen, are yeah. listen we're not, wait wait <laughs> we're not talking about the quality of the movie okay, I'm okay. talking about Civil War there's not that many movies Avengers ones like you don't have these moments these are fucking life lessons they gave you Facts. Yeah. how many times you have someone who's a father figure or a mother and you don't realize their worth until it's gone like the part where he's up there in space and he's mm-hmm. using his last dying breath to go ahead and just kind of feel him and look at him and be like I'm proud of you the man like it was they were having a conversation back and forth right mm-hmm. and so if you ever lost a loved one or you know someone significant like that you got it I feel like that was necessary for the transition of the franchise it's like you can't keep depending on uh the details of the of the storyline sometimes you really have to start that's Disney because Disney is all about pulling at heartstrings so and the thing is is that let's be real like everybody's starting to get to the point where they're like yo this is getting boring like we're we already know what's coming up or whatever. Yeah. We have to find something that keeps people emotionally connected. And I really felt like they brought that great balance of giving you storyline, but also giving you that emotional thing that you need to stay connected to the characters. Because yeah. that's what makes you that's what makes you buy in for the next movie. Yeah, because right. let that- me tell you, it's really hard to form a connection with a fucking raccoon. <laughs> I was cool with him from well, the trailer. I mean, raccoon, I'm no, but I mean like an, an emotional yeah. connection. You know, so when they threw in that emotion, 
You right. know, you could really connect to both Yandu and Rocket's character. Right, right. Because I know, I got homies that's like that. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, what's, what's next? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> no, he that was a hard right turn right there. Okay, so we get that. Uh huh. What are some things you guys would have liked to have seen in this movie? And I want to start with Kumar, who's kind of been in this corner. Even so, though I understand why they cut him out, I would love to see Adam Warlock. Why? Because um, what's her name? Golden the girl. Exactly. <laughs> golden girl. The high priestess. The high priestess Ayesha. golden girl. Ayesha. Yes. yes. The highest Ayesha. thought in the galaxy. Every yeah, she basically. was trying to give it up the first time. To Chris. She was trying to Correct. give it up. To Quill. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were going to see that happen. Then I'm they stole. <laughs> but yeah. Adam Warlock would have made this movie a lot more interesting, but I do understand that they okay, cut him who out. Is, for anybody who doesn't know who Adam is. Like me. Okay. Explain. So. Do you, okay. So Adam, remember. basically, he is a the perfect being, basically. And in the movie, he's created by the High Priestess. In comic book land, he is actually created by a organization known as the Beehive, um, or Beyonce. the yeah. the Enclave. Um, and they they create him, you know, to do evil stuff. Which he ends up, you know, kind of being pissed off about it because, you know, that's my purpose, to be bad, what the fuck. And then the whole thing is because he's developed and then he just is born as a grown person, he doesn't have that period in childhood where we earn, I mean, learn maturity. And, you know, we go through things and we learn good from bad and stuff like that. So eventually, of course, in the comic book land, Adam dies, but he comes back. And he has a, the role model who brings him back um, to teach him, okay, yeah, you need to stop being a dick. Hello. This is how you need to use your greatness to do good things so people will like you. Okay, so this is in the movie. This will be probably the third time they've mentioned it um, in the universe. Um, you can see, he, The director drops it in the first Galaxy movie, and he drops it also in another Avenger movie. So this... He was actually supposed to be one of the villains in it, but they thought it was going to overcrowd the storyline and the character build yeah. up. So, well, there was a lot of stuff going on. There so. Was. so I'm glad they did it. But then they mentioned that she had invented him towards the end of. Yeah, it was one of the uh, Easter eggs for the, the scenes. There was five actually scenes at the end of this movie. Can, can I can I add yeah. something? Go yeah. for it. Those ending things sucked. <laughs> How? How? Balls. Like I didn't know which one was the ending or which one was a. Or like a, a cut from okay. the film. I thought okay. it was okay. like little right. pieces of the okay, film. Okay, look. Okay, so we'll go with the first one, all right? The all first right. one, right, where you see um, basically uh, what's the guy, Yonders, Yonder? his best friend with the, he has a little hairpiece on, he's wearing it, and he's gotcha. whistling, he's practicing, hits the destroyer, and he kind of walks off. The Easter egg on that one was, I think in my head, two things. One, he's trying to learn to use that ability for him to be one of the next one. Because, again, they don't follow 100% with the storyline as mm -hmm. far as the comic books. So these can literally be anyone from the galaxy can be basically a guardian of the galaxy. So okay. I think you're, you're seeing him set up for that one, the third one. Gotcha. The other part of the Easter egg is that's actually the director's brother. So that's the director's brother. So it's kind of cool that he's in the movie. The director was actually in the first one. He was like a, an army guy with a mask on. Um, the director actually puts his parents in the video, too. So there's a part where two old people look up when the Dairy Queen marketing, the Dairy Queen starts, you know, showing yeah. up and it disappears. They look up all confused. Well, that's his parents in there. And there's a blue, there's a blue SUV that's like tilted upward. And there's an older guy. You've probably seen him in like Scandal and some other stuff. He has like a down south, southern type of thing. He's actually the grandfather of the director. So it's pretty cool. So that first one, that's all that was. Alright, yeah. so the second right, one... people can do whatever the hell they yeah. want to do. They just put the whole goddamn family in the film. Now, say if I was to bring my mom on the step. Uh, they been lock me, him, and everybody else up. You know what I mean? It, it, it depends on who you know. Alright, all so right. the second yeah. one was where they were basically doing... Um, you had uh, Sylvester Stallone's character uh, basically say a few words and they started going with cameos for everybody. Mm -hmm. Those... I don't know if they're going to do... I mean, in my opinion, it'd be pretty cool for a spinoff. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, they're probably... Uh, how can I put it? Those are everybody from the original Galaxy. So they're putting the Guardians actually together. Um, so that was pretty cool. You also had that little voice box headpiece 
That's Miley Cyrus. Voice Miley name. Cyrus. Yeah, Miley. I don't think Marvel. Um, yeah. You have what else? The third one was Hannah Montana. The Warlock <laughs> one where you see the little teaser for Adam. So mm-hmm. That was on the third video. That you see his development. You see that in, in there the, in the cocoon. Um, the other one was the Teen Group. Teen that was Groot. hilarious. How did how did how yeah. did you get lost on Teen Group? I he thought that was awesome. One out of three. And then I liked Whoa. how how Chris Pratt or Quill, I'm sorry, his character was like, I know how Yandu felt. Exactly. You know? I like that. I'm not going. I'm not going to be. See, fine. listen, there was skin Ezra. like bark all over the fucking place. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, and the fifth one was the Watchers. Okay. So you had the Watchers, which Stan Lee, the reason why he's in all these movies, mm-hmm. he had this thing in the 60s where he came up with the Watchers. They sit back, watch the universe. I don't want to say they're God or anything, but they basically know everything that connects anything. So he's in these movies and television shows for the fact that he was trying to be a physical representation of the Watchers. Mm-hmm. So this is the first time you actually see the Watchers. So when he's telling the story and they seem disinterested because they already know what's in the universe. So it's pretty cool because if he ever disappears and unfortunately passes away, the Watchers will be able to live on and keep doing their sh- And it gives Stan Lee's role in every single Marvel film like a point. Like why yeah. is he just there with no but consequence? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, so does that answer all your... Thank you for answering my questions, but fuck that. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just to throw something... A little part out there. What I really, really enjoyed in this movie, though, that was so fucking hilarious, is when Mantis is <laughs> hit by a damn asteroid. And Ooh. then the Destroyer, after she's lost, already huh? been hit with the fucking rock, he's he like, says it he goes, watch out, be careful, whatever no, the hell I, he I, says. No, Look out! Oh, wow. I tried, guys. No enthusiasm. There's like, nothing oh. happening. Like, you're watching <laughs> all this amazing stuff. And she's trying to do her little magic. Mm-hmm. And everything's cool. And then it just, like a like a, a Saturday Night Live skit, it just comes out of nowhere. A <laughs> meteor takes her out. She rolls off camera. It's like three seconds later. And then he's like, watch out. There's a meteor. It's like, and it was funny yeah. the way they did it. I mean, there was even lines where Dax was like saying, like, um, you're ugly. Uh, or you're beautiful. Cool. But in the, the inside. inside. Like, it was just like... And the thing is, Mantis is beautiful. She's played by Palm... I don't know how to pronounce Palm her Palm her Palm last Palm. name. Some people. But, and like she's Palm actually Palm. French, you guys. And she is beautiful, beautiful woman. And he was like, you're ugly. You're yep. just a hideous, disgusting thing. And then he pretended <laughs> to puke <laughs> because he imagined I told, himself. I want a woman with more meat on her bones. Like, yeah. Being intimate <laughs> with her. And he was like. She was oh, real, man. I agree. And it's wow. like, I mean, I, I understand wanting a little bit more, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm, no, nobody goes But she real. was so beautiful. That was, was like, meat. really? Awesome. Anyways, what'd is there about, anything? What do you think about Lux? Lux Luthor being in it. <laughs> Where? You guys didn't see that little Easter egg? No, finger? I didn't <laughs> notice that. There, okay, look, the guy who was the the glittery diamond dude that you Ooh. saw when they were at the like the the planet with all the robotic strip people, right? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. That's Michael Rosenbaum. I don't fuck up his name, but he played Lex in Smallville. Yes, in Smallville. So yeah, but you cool. can't notice yeah. that you underneath all that diamond no, shit. Listen, out of your but listen, end. listen. That's why it's an Easter egg again. That ain't Listen, that he's is done, an Easter egg. He's done you know tons of voice That is Lex Luthor. Oh done my God. And all the cartoons. That, that is Lex Luthor. We're going to move say, on from his uh, overly Howard the Duck. fucking paying attention Howard ass. Howard the Duck is over there on a date. These miss us. We don't care. Howard the Duck is on a date. I'm, again, this was literally. Do you think they're going to do a Howard the Duck movie? I, I believe they oh, could. Oh, no. Eventually. Are they eventually. Are. Move on. Now man. that we're, we're, we're saying about Howard the Duck. What I thought was so fucking hilarious was that the planet they were on, which had all the holes for them to sleep with, to the Hope. planet was called Contractia. <laughs> yeah, but that's a real planet, though. Yeah, but the, really? Where well, you can contract some shit. Exactly. I didn't see it that way. I didn't think about it like that either. Contract some vagina. Yeah, no. Contract some STD because your ass is nasty. Listen, I mean, hey. That's basic. We know that. But <laughs> that's why you got to wear intergalactic condoms. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, yo, what's wrong with intergalactic that? Intergalactic like, condoms. Force field for her pleasure. Force field penis cover penis or, or thing. Like, Whatever. Who cares? Like, Whatever. You got to get you some intergalactic that, vagina. 
That killed me. But the funny thing is, is that they're all too. robots. So it's like, can you really contract yeah, anything yeah, from them? No. A yeah, virus? Yeah. You can get a virus. That's you get a virus. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Oh, I mean, we're getting all technology. Man. Oh, you're about to get this Trojan horse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Download this file. Hey, Hell you got yeah. mail. How many megabytes? Oh, <laughs> but there was one scene in that, in that that made no sense to me. Where Yandu is buckling up his pants, and the girl, the robot chick that's sitting in the bed, yeah. and she just turns off. Turns off. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but was you that paid, really? That was, it. It, was that really a necessary scene though? It's yes. Just, that he doesn't have real love. You know, he shuts it down. He doesn't have real he love. Shuts he shuts it down. No, but you can tell he that did not feel him. Again, this movie was pretty deep on some levels. Like, yeah, he's sitting there zipping up his pants. Like, yeah, I just sex, but I ain't really want. You really want that. Yeah. Really well, I'm just I'm saying. It was go back though. You could he see he had no emotional. And then the only time you really saw emotion from him in the beginning of the movie before he got into the whole daddy thing was when um the leader Rocky of Five. yeah who was played by Rocky in space yeah <laughs> Rocky in space. hashtag Rocky in space age by he doesn't age he doesn't he age. really doesn't well when you, you have know, his I, money you can get know. your he face done it's some steroids old, uh, but I don't know. And old. it's all of anyway. these steroids <laughs> but I just okay Star Lord okay one of the little things is if you didn't notice it is he's immortal. Yeah. For like Was. a short period of, exactly. Supposed and that's to be. gone. Okay? Well the thing is the whole time he's immortal and just doesn't know. know it. We didn't know it. it but makes because sense he had to kill his one, dad, his, his celestialness I... disappears. How do you feel about that now that he's a regular person like us? No, but what what I don't understand is like how does DNA completely change like that? That's like I can saying. understand he has no celestial powers anymore, but I'm still from your nutsack and I'm still alive. So True. I may have not I may not be True. able to manipulate the light anymore. True. Because I you're like the like one that. that carried it. Okay. I like but what you're going with that. Uh-huh. I should also have I'm, it. I'm gonna raise you a this is a fucking comic book we can do what we want. So they probably just took comic that books. idea for that. <laughs> comic books. But in the comic book he does he was for a short period of time, you know, a guy. Okay. So But I just don't get how you have your powers, but just because your other half, not even your other half, your, your dad just dies. So you don't have powers anymore. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, the thing is, the powers came from him. Like, he was the energy. Like, so if that energy trans- knows... It's, like, not transferable? Like, you have his DNA. So, I mean... Do we really as the genuinely typical... have an emotional connection with this? Like, do we really care? Because it's, it's like it's... vampires. I mean... I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You know, it's like, they're going to do what they're going to do. And you know what? They're going to conveniently bring it up, and he's going to be immortal when they need to be. And he's not going to be immortal. Eventually, he's going to get the powers back out of nowhere. Watch. It's going to, like, know. out of nowhere. He's going to have it. It's a convenient little plot. It's comic books. Use. Comic books will I, kill you, and you'll come back out of nowhere. Same thing with powers. Really cared. Nobody cared. That was Again, nothing. he's the gun guy. That's what they said. He, he's the yeah. gun guy. And I mean, even before he found out he was immortal, he was still doing his thing and still surviving. I mean, and it's not like with the human side of him, he still can't bleed because he can. But I don't know. I feel like no, if no, they no. do, when they do make another movie and stuff like that, I need. I feel like they should bring a little something back of his celestialness. As long no as he busts down Zoe Saldana at some point, <laughs> I really don't care how this thing plays out. Anyways, yes, but in the comic books, I, I feel like... Man, they do office. bring it back. <laughs> um, I don't have full details on it, but I want, but I do want them to throw. Because if they, if he got it back in the comic books, I want them to at least throw that into the movie. Does anybody else feel that for someone who just learned he had powers and learned how to use his powers, that he was a pretty good matchup for his dad? Mm, I do. I have to agree with you. Like that's, so that's what we're doing. Now. Like no, that's Disney. no, but it's like you ain't even know you it's have like, powers, yeah, and like, now I all of a sudden you G codes. Come on, stop yeah. it. Okay, okay, wait, wait, but wouldn't we? We've seen this before. Disney's done this before. Okay, yeah. last movie Disney did this. This whole fast, you really good at what you do. Star Wars. Remember when uh, Kyle Ren, whatever, is outside? Oh, yeah. And she and picks Ray. up, and Ray was just a master blaster. All of a sudden, I don't know where the fuck yeah. that came from. So. It's like well, 
are. Yeah, pretty much. Like, his dad is so fucking old. Yeah. And then he got impregnated so many women in his time, but that's beside no, the point. No, 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 but either way... No, no, no. I think, I think what we're trying to head in is the dad having the ability for so long is like Neo in the Matrix understanding everything when you get to that exactly. final movie it's... versus he's just because he has heart that works... I'm gonna. I don't think I'm that's gonna disagree how, to that. Yeah, because I if I, how if, life should work. If I give you a gun and you're really good at it, you've been practicing it, you know how to use it, you're gonna go ahead and, you know, Hit put somebody party. down. It, but not, if, but if you're a gangster and you turn the sideways and you missing everything but what you hidden, you're gonna stole top. But me. we're not talking about we're not talking about a simple situation where a gun and shoot bang bang. You're talking about somebody who's very old, and I'm quite sure you have old people in your life, and they may have all the, t- the experience in the world. Wait, wait, wait. How well, is like he, old? he how said, is he old? bigger. How is he old? You said ten million years. Okay, look, how remember old, how old did he look? I don't know. I'm but just you saying, remember that was just a fucking shell. He's, remember, he's that, essentially he was a god. At one he's pretty point. much a god. Does he's God get nothing. old? He looks like nothing. Exactly. So, so you go on the years. He's just pure energy and knowledge. So Facts. the time means nothing. But. When you introduce a younger, more energetic version <coughs> of himself into the play, even though he may not listen, have as much experience, listen, my nephew, you know, youth and my vigor nephew, can can play a lot of things. My nephew Jaden uh-huh. is ten, and he's damn near six feet already. Whereas a man, no, this dude but is not ten he, years listen, old. Listen, wait, wait, but you're talking about youth versus I can play experience. basketball nowhere near anything that should be allowed to go on a court. But I'm going to ball him up. Because he doesn't... It doesn't matter how much heart... He can have tears in his eyes and want to beat me. I'm not going to... All all day he's not going to score on me. And it's a simple fact that it doesn't matter. I don't look at the, the whole heart and everything like that. I get if you're having a boxing match. Mm-hmm. Then you get the fighter's punch chance. That you could mm-hmm. knock another dude out. Mm-hmm. But in this situation, it shouldn't have been where he was able to make Pac-Man while his yeah. dad made himself. He sure. shouldn't have been able to do that. I could see him... The one part where he takes a rock and he throws it, okay, I'll give you yeah. that. But I mean, the way he was throwing stuff up and going back and forth, it was, again, Too in the storyline, there was stuff they did just because they wanted to hurry across. Yeah. There was parts even with the sister. The sister left, but she came back. She had to because she was an important part of the story moving on. Mm-hmm. The same thing with the blue guy. Same thing. He had <laughs> to go here to come here. Yeah, yes. He had no. to go through all that sh- as a as a consumer do, that watches these reviews, my question to you now comes down to: I'm so happy I could be in the room for this moment. What would you have done differently if it was so bad? Like, what would you I have didn't done say differently? It was bad. I, I mean, or, or if you felt like it was rushed or whatever, what would you have done? Differently? I mean, you know, give me your individual. I, I don't. Okay. To be honest with you, I actually don't want to change the ending. He's the one that bitches mostly about it. But when did I bitch about the ending? Oh, oh, you about the ending. You just, no. She just left the whole bag on yeah. you. Let's go. No, but <laughs> my wait, wait, when did wait, 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 when did I no, like bitch the ending? It. I just said the movie was good from beginning to end. Yeah, there but was some you were problems saying problems with the storyline. Exactly. Okay. Don't back down now, sir. I don't feel I'm like there was a problem. No, Grab your balls. Because Let's give me something listen. real here. Because I feel Pause. when, <laughs> even though I understand what you're saying, ten million years to his anger and heart, but sometimes when you get to that point where you're just so pissed, right? There's parts of you you didn't even know that was deep down inside you that'll just come out. That's that Spanish right there. That's, yeah. that's that yeah. adrenaline. Yeah. That yeah. you're yeah. with. That you're like, okay, oh, okay, I got you. See, see, mm. see the gangster just came. Okay. It's over. It's, in her it's face. a wrap. See that? And then not to mention, no. remember, no. his no. humans. No. Remember, no. his right, father so, is tied to this no. planet. No. No. All right, you, I think somebody wants to tag cool. in. At the okay, that's that. Answer that question. You got it. Cause somebody's gotta give me a real ass. Come on, get in there. Get the fuck out. All right. Stand by the camera. Stand behind the camera. Stand behind the camera. Yo, move the Lego here. Edit Lego here. We're doing. We're doing the call. All right, listen. I didn't want to do it, but I want to answer that question. Yeah. Because he asked you and you couldn't answer. Okay. So you want to know what I would do different? What would you do? Okay. What I would have done different is, even though he had that heart and that passion, and he. He was starting to come with it, and it's understandable. I would have still had him coming with a lot, but failing. Because all they really needed him to do was distract long enough for the bomb yes. to go off. So they should have still showed him coming up short every single time instead Trying of being so dominant. Or maybe and I felt like he mastered it from the jump. When they was tossing a little ball, I felt like he was getting everything too easy for him to be first time exposed to it. I know he's a celestial, and, a, and everything's supposed to be super... You know, he's super powerful, so it should come easy to him. But I still felt like... Because he's never been in 
intact or in contact with that energy, it should have been harder for him. Everything came seemed to come too easy, too natural. And I'd rather him get these these great powers and these abilities, but just fall short. Still, he's still getting his ass rocked. He's Not still, Pac-Man. but because he's Not becoming Pac-Man. a distraction, it's still successful to the overall story. Mm. That's what I would have done. Okay, different. I would have, it would have yeah, been cool. Boy. It would have been cool if the energy would if you'd have seen the energy start choosing a new host. Like, listen, I'm vibing with the fact this person has heart and that everything is it, like. Well, you can't like, really do that because because Kurt Russell's energy they were destroying that it, it was all his own thing okay. yeah that and he it was, was he was he was a it was basically like one of his legs and they're using his leg right. to beat him up so he it. can't i didn't know if it's really mm. it would defeat the purpose of them destroying it if it could just choose a new host mm. that would that would have See, defeated the yeah. purpose of it. and with right. me so i'm, I'm gonna get the also, fuck out of here because i'm gonna con- all right, right, all right, all right. All right, okay with me i also have to throw in the fact that um <laughs> it's no different like from the first one when he had the infinity stone and the energy itself kind of took over them and was able to control itself and destroy, you know, whatever the fuck his name is. From now, the last one. what I would, would like to see was like some type of like training process. Like, you know how you had, how in Doctor Strange. You want a montage, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it doesn't have to be it, 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 it could be as like, like, it could be as subtle as him in his bedroom, like just playing with his. Little playing powers. With himself. But why would he? Yeah, he's playing, playing with himself. himself. <laughs> playing with himself. In his bedroom, locking the door, playing with himself. It's like, you, you know imagine? what? This time, I'm not going to make a ball. I'm going to make a vagina. Exactly. <laughs> Porn montage. But a small one, though. Yeah. That's That's small one. And then when dad comes knocking on the door, you put everything away. That's it. That's yeah. Terrible. And then dad's like, you know you're using a part of me. Right yeah. now, right? It's like ah. that's that that's like so like a like an ass cheek that you're fucking with. I can see what you're doing over here. Where'd you bring up gay porn? We just went so deep. No, because when you, you think about it, had nothing to do with this. No, because we, you when you think about it, everybody's like, you oh, the energy, the energy, the energy, the energy. Kurt Russell was the energy. It was all him. It was all. It was all. It was all a piece of his soul, a piece of his entity. It was like, asshole, huh? you know, playing with his toes. Thanks, okay, look, guys, listen. <laughs> we can go all over the place with this, but I think it's time time to come to an end. Time to rate this mother. Yes, uh, it is time to rate. Okay. So we will start with Kuma. You Let know, me rate this movie. I'm going to give it a seven. It was just a little... Damn, a seven? Yeah. I'm just going to give it higher, honestly. I will... Enjoy into the, the movie. This is like like Kumar got kicked, kicked off for a few minutes so Eddie could come on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back for a second. I said seven. Mother, okay, you gave it a seven. You ain't had shit to say. A seven. <laughs> a seven. You gotta have like, I could give it a four. I'm not. Wait, I'll tell you, you know what, what I'm giving it. No, I'm not giving it a four. Oh, but at okay. least I had shit to say. Yeah. You gotta really, like, you gotta tell us at why home right now a why a mother... Seven. Yeah, I need an now explanation. Now listen, no, exactly. No, I'm, your seven is your seven. Yeah, Keep your seven. Yeah. So why a seven? Okay, so going into this, like little things, I don't like how they fast forwarded the movie. I understand time is a is a major thing. However, for him to the, the fact that this fight really bugged me. This is a problem. This fight really bugged me. How he just beat his father's ass, and everything was just rushed. But it wasn't. Not everything was rushed. I'm sorry. The ending was rushed. But that's that fucking pissed me off. They pissed me the fuck off. So that last fighting scene, just it seven degrees. So we should have added off. another fifteen minutes. Not yeah. even fifteen. I was trying to say earlier. Long enough. If it was something that symbols a little scene, like in a bedroom. A scene yes. in the, between the father and the son, maybe a little. Everything was. I fun. get it from you, as Dad. Soon as soon <laughs> I get he, it from watching you. As soon as he stepped onto that planet, it was like, okay, yes, this is my planet. That's it. Then fight scene, and then while they're fighting, they're getting the whole explanation. There's like 45 minutes between. Yeah, between there was other shit about that was like happening. The there was a lot of shit going There's on. A whole you lot know what? Setup that went into that. Were you high? No. Okay. All right. Jay, this time. if Should've you been. please give us a right for this Yo, movie. I honestly felt like it hit all the marks for me, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it eight. I'm gonna give it eight. Out but of why time. you did it so scary? Cause you did like a little kid come around the like, corner. I'm gonna give it like an eight. Ice cream. <laughs> no, I just, I just real, this real, I'm afraid of what to say because I'm afraid I'm gonna get cursed the fuck out. Work, work, yeah. work. <laughs> Who was, who's gonna cuss you the fuck out? The three of you. Like you know what I'm saying? But did you hear the shit he just gave? Yeah, that shit was ignorant. 
But um, <laughs> yeah, that was some, that was, he pulled that straight out of his derriere. Derriere. Um, eight out of ten, and and the only thing that would have made it. Perfect as if we had removed David Hasselhoff. Wow. Oh my god, that wasn't even fucking wow. significant. It is significant. Like, no. It's very significant. Oh, what, you didn't think that was awesome whatever. for him to see. listen, they show that folded picture of David Hasselhoff. Nah. Like, damn, that story's real. Nah. And then he, nah. as he's upset, transforms and says, I can take whatever. Nah. And yeah, David in the flesh? No. That's Thank crazy. You. That's Eight crazy. Out of 10. Okay. You. I appreciate it. So, That's Ron, crazy. what is she your rate? Make any sense. Listen, I thought this is a perfect way. $140 million so far. It's going to make more even after you watch this. But $140 million, there will be a third one. They'll obviously connect this. They get everything right with television, or not television, movies. DC can't get shit right. Um, they grow the brand. Visually, this movie was eye-catching, um, great flow, great action. I like the technology they used. A lot of it, there was one scene where um, Kurt Russell is being shot, and it's almost like uh, Kevin Bacon's Invisible Man type of thing, that technology where you're watching his, the, the holes in him. Mm-hmm. There's another scene where he's being re- like made again, and you can see it oh, as he's so arguing nice. and giving a speech. There's a lot of yeah. good moments in this that were great. Mm-hmm. Um, the music was good. It had all the elements that you need. A little gaps inside the story, just just for me. A little small gaps. So I'm gonna bring this shit back down to earth and give it a seven. But I had shit to say with myself. Wait a minute, you just jerked off. Whoa! Wait a minute. And then you gave me a seven. What like, the fuck? What the? Because of these little microscopic Jingle. stories. <coughs> got I him know. again. Not not give it a ten. So get make a guy. comment. Get this guy out of here. This guy. Because oh, I, I had. Look, because I had something on. negative to Join say. Join me in the comments once this goes up. All right. I gave it a seven. Anyways. You had so many positive you guys, things to say. You gave it a seven. All right. The movie was good. <laughs> it wasn't perfect, but it was good. Okay, but you see It was not way perfect. better was than a seven. Definitely. How much better? How much better? A nine. A nine. I give this movie a nine. Okay. Yes, because don't get me wrong, there were little holes, but not the holes weren't fucking big enough to give it a seven. Right. A nine. It wasn't no holes big Listen. enough for you to even mention because you Listen. haven't mentioned. Yeah, especially a hole to this get whole wait, discussion. Wait, 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 this motherfucker like, an wait, issue. Wait, 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 but you're in the seven. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. wait. I, I'm, I'm no, still the seven. Exactly. Still, that's what I'm saying. Listen, wait, wait, he had still, no listen, reason. Listen, I'm still gonna stick with the seven. Look, you gave it a nine just to make my seven and eight, and that's fine. No one's gonna judge you. When you said I didn't say anything, yeah. listen, when you said I didn't say anything, I did. When I said, this is like the movie The Passenger, every time that something happened, you knew what was going to happen. You knew that the, the cancer, not that it was going to be cancer, you knew it had to be something to make this guy a villain. There was too many times where... Yeah, but I didn't realize that. I didn't, I didn't say that. that. Then she, I didn't I know that. that. Then I'm a celestial being then. I didn't, honestly, I'm, I'm being completely 100% No, because he's a negative being. ass motherfucker. How am I wow. negative? Just, you're a negative Go Nancy. watch it. How you're a negative Nancy. Nancy. I just I said... Didn't, I watched it and I did not think that it was going to... I didn't think that he was going to be the bad guy. So when he finds out, when I found out he's the bad guy, I'm like, holy smokes. Like, well, no, I could tell that. But when the mantis was like, yo, I got to tell you something. It was the little small stuff. I'm done. Yeah. She I'm not smart. Was, no. You guys go to school and shit. I don't know. I don't I'm school. just watching it as a dumb person. And it was great for me. Like, I, I thought that whole thing still was great. said I liked it. Luke, it I am story. your father. Holy shit. Really? No fucking that? shit. Oh my God. Wait, yes, wait. First of all, coming. just so we could throw that out there. In German, Darth. Means father. I did so, not know that. We yeah, are but, not German. Wait, 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 why did these people pick the Guardians of the Galaxy to come and help them with the situation anyway? They seem to have but technology and shit. But I think that will connect to the Avengers No, but what I'm saying, that shows Earth. the holes in the fucking story just so you can fuck up a Dairy Queen. Yo, 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 that's yo, why yo, it's a mother No, no, let's be real. Let's that's be why real. Let's be real. Let's be real. If somebody saves the galaxy and they come in at a bargain price, why use my resources when I can pay some other schmucks to come and do it and we can all stay in our safe little cuddly places? 
Come no. on, that's no. just good. And not to mention, of course, there are going to no be backstory. other movies. It's you can't can. need a backstory. It's an intro. Why are you going to listen? You require too much. Listen, no, I'm not. I'm saying there was times <laughs> that y'all were fine with the pretty little colors and special effects, and there was really no storyline. Maybe this is no why you're significant storyline. So well. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Go watch Civil uh, War. Uh, Go watch Civil be, War. Hey, ladies, if you want to talk to him, he needs to be wind and dine. You know, he can't be champagne winging away. Lobsters. I'll take care of I'll wind and dine. But you know what? Sign a long term contract. Right, but and you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know all right. So let's 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 wrap this up. I Just think our movie like some of you guys do. So you have something. Anyways, no. so our average score is a seven point seven five for our movie lingo discussion for today. But we're gonna round that bitch up to an eight. No, no, we're not. No, y'all, bring it in. This is listen. This is listen. You see what happened? Uh, I gave a seven. Okay, he gave a seven. Let's go. He listen. He gives an eight, not a nine, but he fighting for it. She gives a nine to balance out my seven. It is a seven point seven five. Yes, and not even and and not to mention. But just so if the number is it's greater than five right? past the decimal, like when they try to pass a bill at like Congress, the, the next greatest whole number it is an eight. Have, have we not rounded up school. before? Have we ever rounded up before? Yes. yes. Have we ever rounded up before? Yes. yes. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is it the norm? Yes. No, it's not the motherfucking norm. Go watch exactly. the video. They're just doing this shit because they just doing this, shit, and that's fine. Anyways, it's still like a I said, seven. that's why I'm a motherfucking lead on this movie lingo discussion, and it's a goddamn eight. Home. Anyways, Bus. thank you guys for joining us for another movie lingo discussion. I'm Iris. I'm JS1 a supplier. I'm motherfucking integrity. And I'm fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> and we about this Bye. <laughs> no, we're family. Except maybe her.